more about um, retrieving data from, from external sources, from external databases into AIDA. So here I will show two examples. One is to import a structure from the COD database, that is a, a database of crystal structure completely uh, freely available. So the first thing we do is to to create a, um, an importer. So in AIDA there is a, a, a class to import crystal structures and we instantiate this class so we get this COD DB importer object. And then we make a query. In that case we can make queries with formula. So we want a gold magnesium and we do the query and this query gives two results. So um, after that it's fairly easy to, to get an IDA structure that you can use directly into your work. Um, you first get the, the first entry actually, so the first entry of these two results with, with this command. Then you get a CIF file that is this uh, format of uh, crystallographic data that is very used uh, by crystallographers. And here for instance we print the formula. And finally we can make an IDA structure get its formula and also gets the corresponding ASC object because AIDA is fully interfaced with ASC. So that's the formula and that's the ASC object. We can go further with for instance getting the space group uh, using this, uh, this library called uh, spglib that is also interfaced with actually ASC so with AIDA and here the space group is 221. Then in the end we can store the structure, up to now it was an unstored structure. When we store it, it's inside the database and it will stay, stay there forever. And the PK is this one. Uh, another example, I'll go a bit quicker with the ICSD database. So uh, contrary to COD, this one is not free. So you, you need uh, to install it on a server, you need to pay for it and install it on a server. So uh, here, uh, since we are not on the same server, we need to do an SSH tunneling to that server to get the access to the database. And uh, the importer class needs some parameters with a password uh, to, 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 get, to get generated. Then, uh, in that case, we'll do just a query by ID, so we know the exact ID we are looking for. And we generate the query. And of course, in that case, since it's per ID, there is a single result. Again, we can get the C file and its formula. So that's C1, so actually it's, a, a crystal, it's graphite. And we can get the IDA structure with the AAC object. So actually in the unit cell there are four atoms, so it's C4. <coughs> Again, we can get the space group and um, store the structure and get its PK. And once we have its PK, we can directly visualize it 